Time for the series I love to finally make its grand debut? Well, I guess technically it's the first game, but it's different this time. Yes, emergency order. Exterminate all Metroid organisms on planet Samus. Wait, did I play the original Metroid already? And defeat the mechanical life form Mother Brain. Yes, I did. But you know what? As a proper Metroid fan, I feel stupid for not playing this game on my channel so far. So, welcome everybody! This is your host, the MJ4106, and it is finally time for me to play Metroid Zero Mission. Yes, the remake of the original Metroid game, which basically took a lot of element, basically is the original Metroid game, still the same story and similar world, but given a lot of enhancements that Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion have given the series. Which makes this, arguably, the best first game for any person to get into the Metroid series with. And I gotta say, it's definitely a good one. Not as high on my list as some people would expect, but, well, it's good old classic 2D Metroid. For some people, this is the best 2D Metroid game. And you know, I can't really deny anybody that. Because I think it is my... Hmm. I think amongst the 2D Metroids that are, like, you know, the highest quality, I want to say it's my fourth favorite out of... Wait. Yeah, it's my fourth favorite out of five. Yeah, and the only one that's above is Samus Returns. I know it makes it sound weak, but honestly, with how high quality the other four are... I have a hard time really, you know, trying to determine exactly what makes one of the, some of them better than the other. Like, any of them other than Samus Returns, and even Samus Returns, you can really pick your favorite amongst any of the five. That's how good all of them are. But yep, this is the last 2D Metroid game made by the original um, team under, uh, was it Sakamoto? Yeah, under the Metroid creator. And, well, this game is definitely seen as a highlight because it takes some of the improvements of the Metroid franchise you know and love, especially from Fusion, because the whole game is remade in Metroid Fusion's engine. And, well, it manage, manages to work in a way that feels smooth, fun, it looks nice, and, well, they evolved the game to be something a lot more than what people will remember the initial Metroid 1 experience. Which is something I believe that Sakamoto wanted to do, because, well, it was kind of hard to get play the original Metroid back then. And besides, playing the original Metroid now is such a pain in the ass. But yeah, this game is great. This also had to be the debut of Zero Suit Samus, hence the Zero Mission. They took the same kind of Metroid world of Planet Zebus, expanded it, and even added some extra stuff in here too. Kind of similar to how Samus Returns did it, but this game did it better for a lot of people. And well, while I may not be its biggest fan, I will say, I play enough to really appreciate the game, so I can at least say this much. It's a great Metroid game. I can't wait to go over it all of you guys today. And look, once you beat the game, you can even get to play the original Metroid in here. And you get some extra stuff from Link of the Game Metroid Fusion. Not that I can do that, because I play the virtual console version on the Wii U, which you can't get anymore. Sucks to be you. But either way, yep, this game definitely harkens back on the original Metroid pretty freaking well. And this is the last game done in-house by Nintendo for a Metroid game. And we don't count the, um, yeah, Prime Hunters. Anyway, we should probably get going. So... You also have difficulty settings, which, funny enough, this actually existed in the Japanese version of Metroid Fusion. We may as well play it normal to do it the right way. Come with me! If you saw the other file, there's a hard mode to unlock. I'll go over that later. Planet Zebus. I call this place home once, in peaceful times, long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now, I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here. My so-called Zero Mission. The whole game's referred to the Zero Mission? I mean, fine, why not? But yup, it's time to relive the first game again! 
I know before I've usually been making the all whole intent of, you know, I can play the remake so you don't have to play the original game. Or I played the original game because the remake's so different. This game's a kind of an exception because I want to play Zero Mission. Double tap down D-pad, take ball, form, and gain access to narrow passageways. Besides, I look at it this way. I wanted to play this one. Besides, I want to get to Metroid Dread at some point in the future. It feels like a crime if I don't play this game before that. I played Sam's Return, so I technically played the remake for it too. So now I pretty much cursed myself. I have to play the remake of this game. I say cursed, but honestly, I consider myself blessed. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. I get to play Metroid Zero Mission. And well, in case you think this could be just confusing to get through as the original Metroid, nope, not quite as such. We got Shazo statues here. Oh, Samus, go this way. Get the important gear you need to survive. I see. Thanks for that. At least this game helps give you enough direction, so... Energy tank recharge complete. And recharge your energy tanks. It gives you enough direction, so you're not completely lost in this place. Which, honestly... It's a godsend. I'm so happy that they do that. And, well, you still have your save stations. So, yeah, take that original Metroid. At least you can fucking save in this game. At save points, instead of just having to respawn in a fucking elevator. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, you also didn't notice. Yeah. They went pretty hard on the OG Metroid. You know, your standard little pea shooter bullshit. It doesn't even shoot far. I mean, come on. I never tried to relive the first game, but isn't this a little much? Did you really have to reduce her down to this pitiful piece of her strength? Being down to the little shooter that can't even go that far. Man, what a ripoff. Well, then again, it definitely is still a good point to get used to this Metroid game. Hang on. Okay, up this way. You can always pause and look at your map as well. And also, if you press R, you can go check all your um, stuff you have. Your full energy as well as all the power-ups you have on you. You can always press L to go to sleep. Let me go to sleep. No. <laughs> I tried to hit yes! It was like, nope. God damn it. You won't even let me go to sleep the right way. You can't sleep until you save Planet Zemus, Samus. Oh, it's always something in this frickin' show, though. Ooh! The loser beam! It returns! It's the long beam. Well, at least you get making the first power, you get it right away. Instead of needing the missiles to get this thing. Fire long distance shots at this beam. Press L and B to fire diagonally. Oh yeah, I should probably go over controls as well. Which you can heal at every single one of these shows or statues as well. It's wonderful, it really is. But, oh my goodness. Now I actually have to do a log beam. I forgot to mention the controls. Yeah, well it's obvious. A button to jump, B button to shoot. Press down to crouch, down again to morph ball. You can press L to shoot upward. R has another function, in case you don't remember Metroid Fusion. We'll go over that later once it becomes apparent. Which should be relatively soon. So, yeah, we'll try to get over that at some point. What the? Ah, right. In case you don't remember, there are two major bosses in the original Metroid. We gotta kill them both before we can go forward. So, may as well prepare for that. They give you the statue reminder. Because, of course... It's how you don't make pro- Oh, God! Not the hoppers! Anything with the hoppers! I just want to go forward and kill everything. Looks like you're stuck. Well, it's your fault. Oh, Samus Aaron, take this way. Where the fuck is this? You go find out! Explore a little! <sighs> oh, heal you. So, yep. Yeah. Now we have to go to some place I can't even freaking see! Because that's how the map is. They basically encourage you, well, you have to go this way. You may not be able to see on the map, but, you know, explore a little. All right, well, now I can go this way. Or I could have just done this to get here from the, from the get-go, but, eh. <laughs> Who were you to judge? That's the only thing that's great about this Metroid game, like, one of the best things this Metroid game does is its flexibility. Like, 
being able to go through like a low percentage of items is something that this Metroid game does better than like all the others. Well, yeah, yeah, I'd say that because, well, it basically tries to encourage players, you know, try to go through them as little as possible, which is nuts. You'd be surprised the shortcuts there are in this game. Do I intend on showing them all off? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I just want to play the games it's intended right now, okay? I want to show off the Metroid game the way it's supposed to be. Fun, and not pain. Anyway, we got our missiles. Press R plus B to fire. Hope it's red hatches. So, yep, press the R button to basically activate your missiles. And then press the shoot button to use them. I mean, I probably should, I guess. Oh, man. I can't even freaking get through that. Looks like I need more ball bombs or something. At least you still have all these little enemies to help get me some items and stuff if I really need the healing. Ah! And yeah, and of course they added all uh, new bosses. Because, well, they felt like they had to because, well, you know, they want to keep you on your toes. They want to keep you on your toes. Damn it! These are vulnerable to things that aren't missiles. As long as I shoot these spikes, I can grab more missiles. Oh, come on! Back down, buddy. Come on, bud. Ah! Okay. See you later, then. Damn it. So, yeah, you have that thing. I guess we'll be running into that later. As is traditional with the uh, Metroid remakes, well, that's really only this game that <laughs> Samus Returns. What the hell is that thing? You basically have, well, new bosses. So, you know. Prepare yourself, because you're going to need to be prepared for all the hell this game might put you through. Be very prepared. Ah! Flies! No! And well, this game definitely does fun the right way. I really like this game. Not as much as a lot of the other games in the Metroid series, which I will say, I've actually gotten pretty good at this Metroid game, because I was actually dedicated to getting all the endings of this game. In case you can tell by the yellow text where it said gallery, yes, I unlocked every ending of this game already. Which, in case you're curious how many there are, there's eight! There's eight different ending screens. So, yeah, you had to be pretty dedicated in this. That's what makes it a fan, a game for two true Metroid fans. And yet, this is also a great game for fans to actually, you know, get introduced to Metroid as well. That's right. This may just be ba both a great game for Metroid fans to really show their love of the series. Oh, not again, this freaking thing. Back off, asshole. Just die already. Come on. Just get the hell out of my way. Yeah, this thing will keep following you until you kill it. With three missiles, you can do it, though. It would have ran away again. I would have had to battle on my way out, but... When the third time you have to fight it, you would have to kill it. So yeah, you can kill that thing early if you're good enough. Hold Peter charge. Release the fire. Charge attack. Jump the full charge. It's nice that you know that, too. And basically, when you have your beam fully charged, now we have the charge beam in this game. You can basically use it to kill foes by jumping into them. And we got our energy tanks. I have mentioned, you get missile tanks to improve your uh, missile capacity by five. You got energy tanks, give yourself 100 more energy points, which can be pretty helpful in this game, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So it's a great time, but yeah, this Metroid game is definitely a great game for both new fans getting introduced to the series, as well as for those that just aren't used to Metroid games, honestly. And for those that are big fans of it, if you want to do everything this game is to offer, you definitely have your work cut out for you. And there we go, look at that. We got the whole map. And they got map stations. Red Star map data acquired. That was always something frustrating in the first Metroid game. You basically had to draw the map yourself. I think that's old school gaming in a nutshell. They wanted you to actually... They did think of conveniences, so you had to devote yourself to understanding a map for an area. Or just memorize it and just figure out how to get around. That also works, but... Not quite as well. Oh yeah, you also have some advanced jump maneuvers, I forgot. You've got the ability to basically... Jump up a wall. Just basically jump at a wall while spinning. Look away. And you have a few frames of input where you can jump off the wall. The wall jump is very useful in this game. 
And honestly, it's probably at its best in... Well, amongst the retro Metroid games, if you would even want to consider this retro. Yes, I would say it's probably best in this game. Well, then again, I guess I don't really like how floaty it can be in the dreaded Samus Returns, but either way! Believe me, there are plenty of reasons why people love this one. It's arguing what Samus feels at her absolute best. Well, to a point, anyway. Now, give me that power-up! And the game's actually kind of short once you know what you're doing. So, you know, standard Metroid fair. Know what you're doing? You can speed run the game. Good for those endings if you want them. Now we got bombs! Press B to morph and morph ball form to set. You know, this is a great game to play to reflect on my love for the Metroid series. Maybe at some point I'll go over my whole Metroid series rankings. I've been doing it a lot lately, I feel like. Then again, well, it has been a whole 10-year anniversary. What kind of anniversary would it be for my channel if I didn't go over my second favorite video game franchise, the Metroid series? Where almost every single game in it is freaking great! Not counting the first two Metroid games, Metroid Other M, Federation Force, Prime Hunters, and maybe Prime Pinball. Ah, get off me! Oh god, these bugs are everywhere! Get the hell off me, you sick bastards! Yeah, I kill them all, get out of the room, too. So more blue bombs kill bugs. Huh. Well, at least I know now Samus can be an exterminator. Did somebody call for Bounty Hunter Samus Aaron? Yeah, I got a bunch of cockroaches here. Can you get them out? Oh, cockroaches again. Come on, I thought it was a planet in dire need of saving. Oh, come on, can we get this over with? We're trying to use mouse traps, they don't work. Look, mouse traps don't work on cockroaches. But why am I even helping you? Well, I am getting paid at least. <laughs> it's kind of hard to be saving plants. There's no plants to save. I hate that I picked up this side business, but, well, whatever pays the bills, right? <laughs> Sam is having to resort to be an exterminator after she saves all the planets. <laughs> oh, God. Man, it's the first time I've gotten to play a Metroid game after, like, actually fully getting to realize Metroid Dread on the channel. So, yeah, I haven't got to play a Metroid game for my channel since Dread was, you know, at full force with the boss rush mode coming out and all that, so... Yeah, it's always nice to go back and remember it. So, you need my help, do you? By the way, these are completely optional to run into, but if you don't know the game, you should probably enter them. Samus Aaron, go to Norfair, where you must go above the map here. You don't know where either of these are. Good fucking luck. But I will heal you. It also restores your missiles. So weapons and energy fully restored. Yeah, thanks for that. Ass. And your bombs actually explode kind of fast. Which is also nice. So yeah, this area is kind of a waste of time. So, you know, your speed running don't come down here. Oh, this is a great celebration of the Metroid series. Yeah, great game to play while we wait for potential Metroid Prime 4? Metroid 6, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what could be coming up next for the Metroid series. But as a fan, I hope it'll be good. And then with the way Mercury Steam did, did Dread, I look very much forward to it. I know I said I wasn't the biggest fan of Sabre's Returns, but honestly, that's more because of Metroid 2 as a whole just being awkward. It's no fault of Mer Mercury Steam for how they did that game. I mean, come on. I loved Metroid Dread. I think it's my second favorite 2D Metroid game. I really did like it, for those that don't know. I thought it was a great time. Because, well, yeah. It basically is new Metroid story content. The likes of Fusion. And, well... Woo! Yeah, I'm not gonna go over all my thoughts right now. I'll just say this, though. I thought it was wonderful. Okay. Hang on, my TV blanked out. That was weird. Let's time warp for a sec. Yeah, the friggin'... The friggin' power strip for my friggin' cable got loosened. That was weird. Damn it, that really distracted me. I'm not playing on the gamepad right now, so I can't do off-screen recording, damn it. God damn Wii U. Why am I playing on the Wii U? It was the monitor's fault. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> Sorry for that distraction. God damn it. Recording funks. Recording gaps still happen to me. Obviously. It wasn't obvious. Ugh. Oh, right, by the way, you can bomb jump in this game if you know what you're doing. Time really well. You can keep 
right and up. The other place you probably shouldn't be up to. That's what makes it fun, though. Like I said, there's a lot of techniques you do in this game to basically try to get to places early. This is a game that definitely encourages speedrunning and, you know, trying to do, you know, I was going to say exploits. I think I more meant skips. I could go in there, but I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, that's the fun thing in this Metroid game. You can experiment and try to do as much as you, as much as, or as little as you can. And that's why it's so goddamn fun. Well, may as well go to Norfair since I have the, the power bombs. Why not, right? Or the, not the power bombs, the board ball bombs, you know, whatever. So, may as well go down to Norfair. And at least you do have item percentage completion to go for as well. Because of course. Oh, meanwhile, Mother Brain, that's right, they have cutscenes in this game. Not quite as elaborate as fusions, but they're there. Ah, oh, so she returns. Good. Yep. They use some cutscenes just to, you know, keep you hyped that, oh yeah, there is stuff going on. We have some characters to run into, so we may as well do that. Come! Let's just go get that power up up there. Not that I can. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, never mind then. Let's not go this way. Damn game lied to me. Well, that's the thing. You thought, oh, well, I can't go that way because, well... Yeah, they want me to go that way to get the power up there, but I can't get it because I can't grab wedges for some reason. And again, this suit, this suit is kind of clunky. I give the arm can, I guess it would be hard to grab a ledge, wouldn't it? I can see that. Well, yep. Good game design in this game, though. The first one basically tells you go this way. Second one, go off the map to try to find this one to basically explore. Third one, go out of the region to go to a new area. And you do that. Well, you come here. Oh, you can't go that way. Go another way. See if you can find another way around. And who knows? You may need another power up to actually properly go that way. You never know. Ooh, what the hell is this? This is an area I remember from the original Metroid. Yeah, get used to it. <laughs> get used to it. I was getting used to seeing this. Power bomb. Oh, jeez. Yep, they do have some new power-ups in this game that were the original Metroid. I know. It can kind of suck. Just seeing all these and knowing you can't blow them up for the longest time. That's a Metroid game for you, though. Encourages you to come back for backtracking. Some people hate, yet I have fallen in love with all the same. And I can't really seem to go this way either, which is a goddamn annoyance. So, what the hell are these things, anyway? Also, this Shoto statue looks like evil? What the hell is this? You're an unknown item! Cool, this part rusted, I can't use this. Analysis and conclusive. Item incompatible with current suit. Huh. Well, that sounds like a waste of freaking time then, doesn't it? Yeah! Incompatible items that happen to go where your beams are? Weird. Yep. So, that's something for later. And no, it's not something that actually gets added to you. It's just there. You need these items to get rid of blocks. So don't think you can just get rid of them. Nope. You're gonna have to actually make use of these. God damn it. There we go. I was trying to see how I get out of here. <laughs> so cool! You got an item that does nothing for you except exist. That's cool, I guess. I love having items that do nothing but plainly exist. That's always my favorite. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to get up here. Oh. Well, I can get up here thanks to the power of wall jumping. And yep, you can master the wall jump, you can get to a lot of places more quickly. Then again, that can be said about the other Metroid games as well. You can keep rapidly jumping off the same wall. Oh, this yellow door, I can't break that down. You think I have that kind of power right now? No, but hopefully soon I will. Hopefully soon I will. Oh no! Can't get that one yet. Don't be silly. Oh, can't get that one either. Yup, y'all doors, let's just say, if you remember the Metroid games, like Prime 2 and Super Metroid, yeah, you're gonna need power bombs to break through those babies. Damn it. I should have known. Ooh! Hey, look at that. More things for me to break through. Why not, hey? Get these giant fish away from me! 
I don't like you. I remember you from freaking Fusion. You're a pain in the ass. Well, at least I got a missile tank for coming down here, so yay. I also don't intend on trying to do a speed run when we first do this file, because, well, I'll just say this. I can do a speed run if I really wanted to, but... Oh, damn it! I just don't feel like it's necessary. Then again, if I speed ran the game, I would have to be doing some skips, because I wouldn't be able to do it that well without them. I don't trust my skills to be able to go through the whole game in plain form, in the proper order, in our two hours. That's asking a lot. Oh, I think I have been able to do it in... What's that one of the times I've had? Like, 100%? I think my best time's been like, 138. Not bad, but not the greatest. Also, you timer jumps right. You can jump across those. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. And I thought I could skip ahead, too. Son of a bitch. Now I'm stuck in a dead end like I was supposed to be. Like a little bitch. You think you can keep me down here? No! I'm gonna climb back up it. Oh. Right. Can't. Well, now what? Well, may as well blast some walls and hope! Hope that there is some place for me to fall into. And just like that, I can... Woo! This is a special one. Oh, don't tell anyone from that asshole dread. Power grip! So, now you can grab it, grab it, hang from ledges and corners. Yup, you need a power-up, just be able to grab onto ledges. This first Metroid game lets you grab onto ledges since Prime... At, well, before Prime 3, technically. Prime 3 actually borrowed that from this game. If I were to be exact. Because, well, this game did come out before Metroid Prime 3. And again, it was automatically on her in Prime 3. Well, at least now we can climb ledges, which means now we can go back for that other power-up I couldn't get before. Yay! Let's go back and get that thing, so I can make progress. Although, I should probably use this power to learn to explore. Now I'll say this, this power is vital. You may not think a simple freaking ledge cling would be useful. But no, it's vital. You're gonna want this thing. Trust me, you're gonna want it. Oh, look at that, your ship is here too. Which I may as well use. I might as well have an episode here, actually. Why not? I kind of like the episodes for this series to be short. Because, well, it's a Metroid game. Games like this, I feel like, are good at short bursts. So, let's save it ended here. So, welcome everybody to Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. What is a great entry point for the series. Because, you know, it basically goes over the beginning lore of the series. It's the first game, technically, again, with improvement speed from Fusion and Super Metroid. And overall, it's just a great fun time with the flexibility it offers. Metroid fans, new and old alike, can grow to love this game. It may not be Metroid at its best, at least for me, but it's still a very solid entry. And I still love it all the same. Now, you know, I love every Metroid game. Even other M to a fault. Ugh, I can't believe I admitted that. But either way, it's this episode here. Come back next time. We will continue to explore the planet Sebus. Gain whatever powers we need to try to work our way to killing the Mother Brain. That is the lore of this series, after all. Oh, I should probably go over the backstory for the Metroid series again, because it is playing the first Metroid game again. Because, well, there's a manga to go over it. Before I even explain anything next time, if you want to go over the origin story of the whole Metroid series, you can probably read the uh, Metroid manga online. It's like 12 or 13 chapters. Basically goes over all the events before the first game. So, you know... Look into it yourself. Otherwise, you'll get to hear me talk about it next time. So see you then!